Greetings and welcome once again to my new calculus channel. I am John Gabriel. So in this short video, I'm going to be covering book one and proposition 15, which basically tells us that if two straight lines, like you see here, this line and this line, cut one another, then the angles they create, uh, which are called vertically opposite, are equal to one another. And again, we don't have to go to all the trouble that Euclid does in his proof here, okay? And basically, this, uh, these conclusions are evident, once again, from the prologue, okay? And I'll put a link to that in the details section. So, how do we know that these vertically opposite angles are equal? Well, what about this one and this one? Well, if we extend these lines, like so, we can see that these angles are equal because they rest on the same arc, right? And similarly, these larger angles rest on the red arcs. And that, my friends, is the very idea that is conveyed through Proposition 15. Uh, equal angles rest on equal arcs. And the very idea of an angle is meaningless without the circle and the prior definition of angle, which happens during the five requirements. Uh, you can't say all right angles are equal if you haven't even defined angle. So we know that the definition, the primitive definition of angle is the ratio of the arc length to the radius of any particular angle. So my friends, that is Proposition 15. And hopefully I'll be doing a few more videos in the coming days. Till next time, I'm John Gabriel, and this is a new calculus channel. Goodbye.